Hi, I'm Ian Twombly. I'm deputy editor of uh, Flight Training Magazine, and today we're going to talk about uh, a little bit about flight planning, how to get a good compass heading. Um, this can be kind of a complicated subject for students um, because there's, it's a multi-step process, uh, but we'll lay it out easy for you. So first, we're going to talk about the tools. Uh, of course, you're going to want um, you know your sectional chart, uh, and uh, probably you know where you're already going. So um, at your charts, whatever charts you need to go from A to B. Um, you're going to need a navigation log. These come in, come in a number of forms, but they all kind of do the same thing. Uh, you're going to need a plotter. Um, again, you'll find variations. This is the most common one, the straight edge and kind of the half moon here. Uh, you will also need uh, your E6B. Um, to really fill out the navigation log to get speeds and everything else, you'll use both sides, but today we're just going to get the compass heading, which means we'll need only the wind side, so we'll work with that. Uh, obviously, you need a pencil. And um, you'll, you'll want for the airplane you fly a compass card. Now, I just printed one out today for the sake of discussion. So to start, uh, it's uh, really easy. It's just uh, drawing a line on the chart. So you take your straight edge of your plotter. Today, we're going to go from uh, North Little Rock, Arkansas, to uh, West Memphis. And um, so you just take your plotter and line it up between the two airports and uh, draw your line. And that's really all there is to that part. Now, um, first thing you're going to want to do after doing that is pick checkpoints. So as you go along, um, your instructor will talk more to you about this, but it's really identifiable things such as power lines, rivers, roads, stuff that you're really going to be able to see from the air. And you want them about every 10 miles. I like to do an, a big X over that checkpoint. Some people do circles, really up to you, whatever your preference is. And so, you know, here along, I'm just going to pick the ones that I want with X's all the way to West Memphis. Now, this first column in your uh, nav log, you'll describe the waypoint, or the checkpoint. Um, so it'll be something like, uh, you'll start here with North Little Rock, and then you'll say um, power lines. Sometimes you'll say a mile west of the river, and, uh, and so on, um, just going through the whole trip. Um, now, this is what got me in trouble when I was a private pilot applicant, um, so don't make the same mistake. The first thing you're going to get is the, uh, the true heading. Now, sectional charts are laid out uh, relative to true north, which means what we think of as the North Pole. These lines of latitude and longitude indicate that. Um, and, uh, and so what you're going to do is uh, take your plotter, put the straight edge back on the line. So here I've got it. And you're going to just move the plotter laterally to your closest line of latitude or longitude. Now, because this, this flight is generally east to west, you're going to want to do longitude. There's a little grommet right here. You put the grommet over the line of longitude, and then you just read off what the heading is. In this case, it's going to be about, um, about 75 degrees. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is find true heading, and true heading is simply true course, what we've just found here a second ago, 0, 0.75 degrees, corrected for winds aloft. Um, and for that, you'll need the wind side of your flight computer. Uh, I got a briefing earlier, found out that the winds aloft today are 150 at 7 knots. Okay, So um, most of these have instructions right on here, so it makes it easy. Um, what you're going to want to do is put the grommet, I say start at 100, that makes it easy to reference. You put the uh, wind direction under the index mark, that's 150. And because it's a headwind of 7 degrees, I'm going to count up 7 degrees from 100. So it'll be, I'll say it's 107. Then you turn to your true course, which in this case is 0, 0.75 degrees. And then we move the index line, that little mark that I just made, to your true airspeed, uh, which in our case we're going to say uh, is 110 knots. And then you read the grommet over what your ground speed will be, which is about 108. Um, so that's your ground speed, and then you see there's like a right and a left hand deviation here. With the right hand deviation you add degrees, with the left you subtract. So this is saying it's two, four degrees to the right. So I need to go plus two on my nav log here, plus four, I'm sorry, to get 79 degrees. Okay. Now, the next thing is variation. Now because all our navigation systems, our compasses, our VORs, our runway alignments, are based on magnetic north. 
Uh, there's a difference between magnetic and true. The magnetic north is actually in northern Canada. And so what we want to do is change uh, from true to magnetic, because that's what we're actually going to be navigating with. And you'll find these isogonic lines on the chart. Um, and if it's, uh, and they'll say either east or west, and if it's an east variation, you subtract, and if it's a west, you add. And in this case, our closest line says it's one degree east. And so what we'll do is just subtract a degree to get 78 degrees. So easy enough. Now we take out our compass card, and this is where it's really going to matter for your airplane. And typically, they'll, they'll give it in increments of about 30 degrees, 30, 60, 90. So you pick what's closest. For us, it's, uh, we're at 78 degrees, so we're a little bit closer to east. Um, 0, 06, 0 degrees, it says we steer 0, 06, 0. And uh, for east, we steer 0, 08, 9. And so I'm actually going to leave it at, uh, I'm going to say there's zero deviation. I'm going to leave it at 0, 078. And so that's our heading, is 78 degrees. So it's really, um, it's not a hard skill. It just takes a little bit of time to learn. And the nice thing is your nav log will help you as you go along. So uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, again, I'm Ian Twombly with uh, Flight Training Magazine, and uh, we'll see you back.